Today, we are diving into a comparison that might surprise you. We all know that the Galaxy S23 FE is a beast of a phone, but Samsung's new Galaxy A55 has managed to outshine it in a few unexpected ways. So if you are a proud owner of the Galaxy S23 FE, don't worry, it's still an incredible device. But let's take a closer look at what makes the Galaxy A55 stand out. Starting with the build, both the Galaxy S23 FE and a 55 boast aluminum frames and a sleek glass design. The S23 FE steps ahead with its IP68 rating, offering better dust and water resistance than the A55's IP67. But here's where it gets interesting. The A55 comes with Gorilla Glass Victus Plus. Yes, that's the same material found in the flagship Galaxy S22, offering enhanced durability over the aging Gorilla Glass 5 of the S23 FE. This upgrade means the A55 might just withstand everyday knocks and drops a bit better. Next on the list, expandable storage and RAM. Now, if you're someone who loves to carry around tons of media or apps, the A55 might catch your eye. Unlike the S23 FE, which sadly bids farewell to the microSD card slot, the A55 retains this feature, albeit sharing it with the SIM slot. Plus, while both phones offer ample built-in storage and 8GB of RAM, the A55 throws a curveball with a surprising 12GB RAM option. That extra boost could come in handy for heavy multitasking sessions. Moving on to battery life, the A55 shines with its larger 5000 NAA battery, compared to the S23 FE's 4500 NAA. Though a bigger battery doesn't automatically translate to longer life due to various factors, it's intriguing to consider the potential for extended use. It's worth noting, however, that the A55 lacks wireless charging, a convenience feature present in the S23 FE, though both support the same 25 watt fast charging capability via USB-C. So there you have it, a few surprising ways the Galaxy A55 could be considered better than the S23 FE. While the S23 FE remains a formidable device in Samsung's lineup, it's fascinating to see how the A55 competes, especially considering its position in the A-series. These features may not convince everyone to switch, but they're certainly worth noting for anyone weighing their options. Thanks for watching. If you found this comparison helpful, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights and comparisons. Have any thoughts or experiences with these devices? Share them in the comments below. Until next time, take care. As we all know, the Samsung Galaxy A55 5G is releasing, so let's talk about it. If you have already watched this video, you can skip this part. The much-anticipated Galaxy A55 is on the horizon, and we have got all the details you need. Samsung's Galaxy A50 series has been a standout in the smartphone market, particularly for its impressive features at an attractive price point. Following the success of the Galaxy A54, Samsung is gearing up for the release of its successor, the Galaxy A55. Let's delve into everything we currently know about this eagerly awaited device. Going by historical patterns, Samsung typically unveils its Galaxy A series phones towards the end of the first quarter, so we can anticipate the Galaxy A55 to hit the stage around March 2024, following the release schedule of its predecessors. Shifting gears to variants in pricing, Bluetooth side data hints at three Galaxy A55 models SM A556 B. SMA 556E and SMA 556E underscore DS. The SMA 556B seems tailored for Europe, while the others may target Asian markets. While exact pricing details are scarce if we consider past generations, the Galaxy A54 at £449 slash $449, the Galaxy A53 at £399 slash $449, and the Galaxy A52 at £399 slash $499. It's reasonable to expect the Galaxy A55 to stay below the £500 slash $500 mark. Design. Leaped renders showcase the Galaxy A55 in three captivating colors, awesome ice blue, awesome lilac, and awesome navy. Inspired by the A54, it features the key island design with a subtly raised frame around the power and volume keys, confirming a sleek metal build. The phone has rounded corners, a protruding rear camera array, and a flat display with a noticeable bezel and a punch hole for the selfie camera. Expected dimensions, 161.1 x 77.3, 8.2 millimeters, 6.3 x 3.0, 0.32 inches display. Now, turning our attention to the display. While exact details on the Galaxy A55's display specs remain uncertain, if Samsung continues with the A54's display, users can expect satisfaction, 
Speculations point towards a 6.5 inch flat display featuring a centered Infinity O front camera. Anticipated specifications include full HD plus resolution and a refresh rate of up to 120 Hertz. Given the A54's impressive display, any enhancements in this area will surely elevate the overall user experience. Performance. Now, let's talk about performance. The Galaxy F55 continues the series evolution, moving from the criticized Exynos 1280 to the improved Exynos 1380 in the A54. Now, it's rumored to feature the latest Exynos 1480, a promising upgrade. According to Geekbench 6 results, this new Soak is expected to be paired with an unconventional GPU choice, the Eclipse 530 based on AMD's RDNA 2 architecture. While the CPU improvements may not be groundbreaking, the shift in GPU could potentially enable the A55 to support ray tracing in games, although this feature is yet to be confirmed. The A55 prototype scored 1127 in the single-core test and 3090 in the multi-core test, surpassing the A54 by a slight margin. The device is expected to retain 8GB of RAM, maintaining a balance between performance and efficiency. Cameras. Shifting our focus to the camera setup, rumors suggest that the Galaxy F55 might not bring significant changes in this department. The Galaxy Club report suggests no major changes, but that's not necessarily bad news. The F54 delivered impressive photos for its price. While the rear camera setup seems consistent, unfortunately, there's no news on any front camera updates. If the leaks are accurate, the Galaxy F55 might continue to use the same 32 megapixel front camera sensor as its predecessor, the Galaxy F54. While the A54's front camera delivers decent performance, some users may have hoped for an upgrade given the iterative nature of smartphone releases. Battery and charging. Now onto the Galaxy A55's battery and charging. TUV Rhineland certification reveals 25 helium fast charging with 9V and 2.55 as support. The 3C certification reinforces Samsung's dedication to fast charging in mid-range phones. While exact battery details are limited, we anticipate reliable 5,000 mAh cell for extended usage. Network and connectivity. Moving on to network and connectivity, the Bluetooth SIG certification reveals that the Galaxy F55 will sport Bluetooth 5.3, matching the capabilities of its predecessor, the A54. Consistent connectivity ensures a smooth user experience, especially with wireless accessories. Software. Last but certainly not least, let's talk about the software. The Galaxy F55 is gearing up for launch with Android 14 and Samsung's One UI 6, promising a seamless and user-friendly experience. This combo suggests exciting enhancements to Samsung's ecosystem. Plus, users can anticipate robust software support with the possibility of receiving four major Android updates throughout the device's lifespan. Stay tuned for those latest Android advancements.